Welcome to Tutorial 3, Part 1. Today, we build a circuit that can be used to automatically generate truth tables for two input gates. Next, on Binary Tutor. Recall in Tutorial 2, we manually developed truth tables for the AND and OR gate. This is the truth table for of the AND gate, and this is of the OR gate. While this manual technique is effective, it is also tedious and time consuming. Fortunately, we can use multimedia logic to help us automatically build truth tables for these simple circuits. This is a demonstration of the circuit we will build in this tutorial. First, let's examine all the different sections. These two push buttons are the controls of the circuit. Each button is wired to a signal sender. This allows wires to bridge pages. Each signal sender, like the one connected to the output of the AND gate, must have at least one signal receiver, like this one connected to this LED, somewhere else in the circuit with a matching name. In the case of the AND gate's output, the name is F. All signal receivers with the name F are treated as the same wire by multimedia logic. The signal receivers may be on the same page as these two are or any other page. This allows us to build very complex circuits spread out over multiple pages. This is the gate under test. Its inputs are wired to signal receivers driven by the circuit we are about to build. Its output drives a single sender which is connected to the recorder part of the circuit. These LEDs show us the current state of the inputs and the output of the gate under test. Over here we see listed all the possible input combinations which will drive the gate under test. And finally these LEDs will record the output of the test gate for each input combination. So now we can start the simulation. Notice how the output LEDs of the truth table all appear hatched. This indicates no results have yet been recorded. See how the input LEDs are both dark, meaning that the test gate is being driven by zeros and that the output LED is also dark. This is exactly what we would expect from the AND gate. By clicking on the next button, the output of this first test case is recorded. And the next input combination is reproduced to drive the test gate. Continue to click Next until all the input combinations have been generated in their turn and the corresponding output is recorded. When all the hatched output LEDs are replaced by either lit or dark versions, the truth table is complete. To begin the design, notice that we need to produce these 1 and 0 combinations for inputs A and B. There is a device of multimedia logic which will conveniently generate the sequence for us. It is called a counter. We will start with a new project canvas. Because the first page has the user interface, we will begin the circuit on page 2. First, let us put a counter gate on the canvas. Notice it has three inputs. Let's wire it up to see what it can do. This is called a ground device. It is used to produce a constant zero to drive inputs. Let us start the simulation.
Notice that the output of A and B are both zero. This is what we would expect. If we click the switch, notice that the B comes on and the A stays dark. Clicking the switch to one again causes the A light to come on and the B light to go off. And finally, we have both A and B on. If we click the switch again, we go back to where we started. This is exactly what we want for our input generator. This counter device is the heart of our project. It is controlled by push buttons connected to signal senders on the first page. By double clicking on the switch, a dialog box is launched. We can copy and paste another button so that we have two. By double clicking on the signal sender, we launch a dialog box which we can give the signal sender its name. Please note that these names are case sensitive. Now we go back to our counter gate. We no longer need this switch, but we will need matching signal receiver devices now we could connect the next receiver device directly to the counter gate. However, this project supports an additional feature which allows the truth table to be generated with a single click of the All button. Because of this, we will need to connect the next receiver through an OR gate. The All Push button works by driving the counter device with a steady stream of pulses. These pulses are produced by the oscillator device. Notice that the oscillator has only one output. To control the stream of pulses, we use an AND gate. Now we address the output of the counter we will connect it to a set of signal senders. Thank you for watching my videos. If you like them and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. Just click on the subscribe button located on the right side of this page. On YouTube, the more subscribers, the better. So please encourage your friends to sign up as well. Also, if you have suggestions for topics you'd like to see in future Digital Logic videos, please drop me an email at jlarson43 at juno.com or post a comment on YouTube. If I use your idea, I'll credit you in the video. Until next time, have a great day.